Okay, hi my family. I hope I'm I hope you can see my face right now because my camera is messing with me. I don't know why, but I look like a mess. I just came home for a short vacation and I'm very tired. And I started a makeup look with the um, blue blood sugar blue blood palette from Jeffree Star. And I just received this foundation, Uma foundation that I ordered a couple of weeks ago from Beauty Bay. For some reason, it took a little bit longer to arrive than usually. And uh, I heard just the good things about this, um, uh, this foundation. It's Uma Beauty, weightless, soft matte, hydrating foundation from medium coverage to full coverage. It's paraben-free, D3, D5, D3, D3, D4, D5 free, talc free, cruelty free and vegan. And it sounds like a very good foundation, but I know that's amazing with the big shade range. I agree totally, but it's not very easy to order online, though they do help you on their website where you can uh, kind of, kind of uh, where you can find and find your shade if you put a foundation that you use the shade that really suits you you can uh, they help you find the shade that's perfect for you I tried that and then I ordered on Beauty Bay because the shipping was free sometimes it's very hard to find the shade that will suit you if they don't help you on the website like Uma Beauty now I try I ordered the new Urban Decay foundation and I had to order two shades because I couldn't find any shade that will match me so I hope that one of those will help me and look good on my skin but this one wasn't really hard to find or to sh uh, shade match uh, this is Fair Lady T to N I hope this will be a good match I don't know I swatched it yesterday and it kind of looked good I won't talk about this foundation a lot uh, you probably heard so much about it but I really want to try it and if you're interested to see how it's going to look on me on my combo skin then please keep on watching so I'm going to shake it and I'm going to apply it with this uh, beauty sponge now I do have this um, Lancome Prepper Matte um, Prepper Matte primer uh, because uh, I almost done with it so I want to use this one up and I do have this revolution pore blur bl pore primer and let's see it sounds like a good shade match I don't know this is how it looks two pumps and let's go in we don't have to talk about it a lot and so yeah the shade looks good so you can build it up and it's weightless so we'll see I know the sponge kind of soaks in the foundation a lot so let's try it with a sponge and this uh, dries down very fast and the shade looks very very good that that makes me hip happy So they do help you on their website, which is so amazing. Uh, and I like that. I wish the, that all brands did the same thing. So this is two pumps on one side of the face. It's medium coverage. It does look good on the skin. Um, it looks nice on the skin. I do prefer more coverage. So I'm going to take a brush and try to apply it on the other side. Yeah, let's use it. It's not the cleanest brush, but... It goes on very nice with the brush too, though I think I prefer... My camera stops filming in the middle of my sentences, so... I prefer it with a sponge, so I'm going to go in with a sponge and kind of build up the coverage so it kind of looks very nice on the skin doesn't feel heavy smells okay it does have a creamy scent to it um, 
like a face cream. Let's use one more pump, try to build it up a little bit around where I have this. The, I can't feel it on the skin, that's good. It's very lightweight. Though I do feel like I applied a lot of the foundation to get this kind of coverage. And you still can see my uh, some discoloration peeking through, but I mean, I, I can be happy with this coverage. I mean, it's not worst, it's not bad, but I don't feel like I want to go in with a third layer just because I have a feeling that it's just going to look more cake, cakey and heavy because it doesn't, I mean, it looks very nice on the skin, but I feel like it still just looks a little bit like I have foundation on. Uh, but it's not bad, though I don't want to go in with a more layer. It sinks into the skin very nice. I'm going to go in with a concealer. What concealer am I going to use? I don't know. Makeup Revolution, maybe. Let's go in with Makeup Revolution concealer. Okay, so it's 11.50 right now, and uh, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. The concealer went on very nice. It looks okay on my skin. I do like I do like how it looks on my skin right now. So it's 10 minutes to 12, and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I'm going to use Jeffree Star powder to set my makeup, and uh, I'll be back when I finish my makeup look to tell you how it looks then. So see you soon. Okay, so you're very zoomed in because my camera doesn't have auto zoom and for some reason I can't connect it to my computer. So it's now 12.07 and I'll be having this for around 20 minutes. And my makeup is done. I need to go fix my hair and get dressed, but I want to do this check-in before we start wearing this whole day. Hmm. I got some eye makeup mascara down here. Don't mind that. But the face looks amazing. It looks very nice. It looks like my skin, but also doesn't does look like I have makeup. Of course, I have a lot of makeup, but doesn't look terrible. It sank into the skin very nice. It uh, doesn't feel heavy. It looks soft matte the way I like it. Um, and it looks very, very nice. I'm surprised. It's not full coverage. You can see my my skin under it but it doesn't look bad I do like it uh, and it sinks just a little bit into my fine lines on my forehead but um, we'll see if it's going to get worse during the day or not uh, but we'll see I don't know I don't know I mean it's not bad we'll see I'll have this on the whole day so I'm going to get dressed and um, fix my hair and we're going to go away for a couple of hours. So I'll be back tonight to do a check-in and tell you what I think about this Uma foundation. The, the shade is very nice, perfect. I can't say anything about the shade. I'm happy that I don't need to order another one. Uh, and I like this blue packaging. Adjustable coverage. For medium coverage, use separately. Sparely for full coverage, use generously. For extreme coverage, apply multi multiply layers so you can apply it over and over again though i think you need to let the first layer dry down before you go in with the second layer so you don't start moving around the layer under it that it's not dry and didn't set into the skin so that is something to have in mind it's good for 12 months after opening that's good because i have a lot of foundation to use up but i'm very happy so far so we'll see in a couple of hours what I think about it, so see you soon. I said I'll be touching my face, my nose and my chin a lot, but the rest of my makeup, I am a little bit oily on my T-zone, but here my makeup looks perfect, my skin looks perfect. Now it doesn't look good around the nose here because I'll be touching it a lot. It looks cakey and the makeup is gone over here and it looks a little bit cakey here. The makeup is gone here, so it doesn't look good, but everywhere else the makeup looks very, very good. Um, I do look a little bit oily, but my pores are still minimized. 
the foundation looks perfect looks my, like my skin here and on my forehead look, it looks good so i really like this foundation on i really like it i think it's good i really like it i think it's a good foundation and i think it the shade it's perfect too maybe a little bit a little bit more yellow that i would like it to but it's not bad uh, it's not bad so i do like this foundation I do. Uh, I will definitely wear it a lot, especially with my hourglass um, primer that I hadn't haven't used today. But like I said, the nose doesn't look good. It looks very heavy and it looks cakey here. But I've been touching it. Like, I forgot that I had makeup on. It's so lightweight. I was like doing like this and do like this and touching my face a lot around here. So that is why the foundation is gone. But I didn't touch at all on my chin so not chin cheeks so it looks pretty pretty good i really like it really like it and of course the makeup look looks stunning uh, so i think it's good i think it's worth the money it's not the most expensive foundation i will put link down below to beauty bay and to um and to oma website so i will put the information down below check it out uh, and guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Let me know down below what's your favorite foundation right now. What do you like? What kind of skin do you have? Uh, do you want to recommend something? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.